Hello, Perfect Death here, and I'm bringing another Ragnarok Online mobile video. This video, I'm going to be covering some footage that I took of a Oracle run. And so at the start, it's a really good idea to just look through what kind of cards there are. This is an easy Oracle run, so we can see that there's uh, three bosses, and you can see where the bosses spawn. So in this particular instance, um, we're running with two wizards, a champion, me as a royal guard, and a high priest who is a main as a sniper, so his, he's not really here to heal. I'm actually playing the healer role. He is the buffer, the reviver, and just generally tries to run around and stay alive so he can revive people if needed. So, not the most meta way of clearing oracle runs easy. There are some classes that have a much better time doing oracle runs, and that has to do with some of the, the fancy traits that some of these monster types have. Um, for example, some of these will multiply really quickly like the, I think the hornets do, but the hornets they for sure will heal themselves, but some mobs you have to kill off really quickly so you need good crowd control. So fortunately we have two high wizards who are just dropping meteors everywhere and that clears the mobs very quickly. Some of these mobs will actually heal and therefore that will cause a lot of trouble down the line so you want to clear up the healer mobs. And we can see the high wizard, the warlock, he actually um, died due to a vadon. The vadons can activate a reflect, damage reflect. So. And here I'm just com um, communicating to the group that there's a Glacier card. So on the right, you can see three cards, and one of those is a Glacier card. So that middle ring will actually fill with a Glacier. And if you're standing in there, you'll freeze. And I'm not currently using a Mark card, but it turns out I was, I was just slightly in range, and I got frozen still, but we cleared it anyway. So here we have a Drake who's going to boss who's going to spawn, and also evil druid, so I'm actually going to get them to get a focus on taking care of the evil druids. They multiply, which makes them a really big nuisance if you don't take care of them right away. Uh, Drake is going to go down easy because he's undead, and here I, I mentioned that meteors are coming. So the meteors are that one of the next cards that are coming up, and if people aren't paying attention, they're going to take a whole lot of damage, which tends to happen if, if people are focused on something else. So if you look at the bottom, you can see those red rings. I move out of the way, and I'm safe. Another thing you also want to watch for, like goblins will throw those grenades, those throw bombs, and so they just spam AoEs. It's not a big deal for me as a tank, but for some of the support classes, if the goblins target them and they're not paying attention, they can take an AoE. And here I mention, I figure I should make call out that a add on is there. I don't think these ones actually do manage to, to get a reflect off, but I focused on the, the Dark Priests first because the Dark Priests are another one of the healer type mobs. So you have Dark Priest, you have Marina, Abune, um, Vitala, I know for sure those are four healing types and if they spawn with a boss it makes killing the boss a nightmare because they will heal huge amounts and that will basically just ruin any progress that you have with a boss so that's one of the reasons that you want to check the the card list before you start the before you actually start the round and there are also some other annoying cards. And later on, we, we figure out some of the annoying ones. And yeah, sometimes it just takes a while for the next wave if you are really good. We're, some of us are a little over leveled. If you hit the, the third job type, then Easy Oracle becomes quite easy. But here we have a mix of people from different some of them are just second class, some are third class, so just clearing it because you get some pretty good 
valuable items from clearing Oracle, even if you just can clear the easy one. Let's see, we can see here more meteors, but a couple guys get caught, and I had told we got people to eat up some of the death blow foods, so those death blow foods are very useful in Oracle. Keeps you from dropping when uh, when a meteor hits them. And another glacier coming up. So my current build in this is my usual um, heal tank build where I'm using both battle chant and heal to just keep myself mostly alive and maybe one other person. The, the battle chant is party wide so that's constantly giving heal ticks. I'm using inspiration level 10 because it's an extra 10 vitality which boosts the effect of of battle chant and also 10 extra heal which boosts the effect of my heal and so for the most part I'm just taunting things trying to keep them aggroed on me and away from everybody else and then just healing myself back up so here we're fighting Edgar Edgar's got a special ability that's different from the normal Edgar is that he can unload your gear this can get very annoying. You'll be stripped naked pretty quick by him. And in order to re-equip, you've pretty much, if there, there isn't a, uh, an adventure skill that you can kind of use that helps you re-equip some of your gear back. But in this case, I'm just, sometimes we'll just go back in and re-equip some of the gear, especially the, the useful gear. If my shield goes down, then that's there goes quite a few of my abilities that I can use, my defensive abilities. So some of the gear I'll want. And one of the other things is that Edgar spawns savages, and those savages will soon overwhelm you if you're not careful. And one of the things that happens is we get this sandstorm, and you can see the warlock at the bottom there, he is still casting. Right, the the sandstorm has basically just killed his cast speed, and now he can't crowd control, and we're going to get overrun by bears and savages, all the mobs that he spawns. And at that point, we are not able to recover from that. And then some healers show up, and they heal Edgar right back up to full health. So. Not a whole lot. Oh, and yeah, that's one of the things that I just noticed there because I recall I got kicked out and I noticed that the Abune actually was doing expel. I wasn't, I didn't notice that. So the, the Abune can actually expel you if you are not revived. Because yeah, I ended up kicked out of the, out of the, the battle, but it was pretty much over at that point. You actually cannot re-enter the Oracle instance it, once you've left. So you're pretty much permanently kicked out if that happens. So that's something for you to keep in mind, especially for the group's healers, is to make sure people get revived quick. Because if not, you could end up short a player throughout th through the rest of the, the instance. So let's speed things up here. Um, pretty much where we give it a couple more tries in these coming runs and most of it is just experimenting figuring out how to better clear it but some of it is also just trying different runs because you get different card combinations every time and sometimes you get like a healer mob with a boss and in this case you can just kill the healer before but having a healer after the boss is a bit risky so these Abune coming in the next um, wave, you definitely want to kill them off. But we're a I know we were able to kill Drake off, so that's not a problem. And here I just, I almost get away, but you can actually see I kind of switched back because my, my actual position on the server is behind where my client position is. So when I got frozen, it snapped me back to where the server considered me. There's some little fireballs that you can avoid. It's not too much of a problem when I'm standing on the fire, but for others, they can take a lot of damage. There's some more meteors coming over here, and yeah, our priest didn't didn't dodge. So I just kind of remind them, hey, 
watch it for meteors it's um, definitely something in easy you get one meteor per card but in normal it's two meteors per card so that that actually throws off a lot of people when you know you switch from running easy to running normal and you think oh yeah we dodged the the meteors and then another wave of meteors comes so can definitely hurt a lot and so I basically told him, hey, if you can type fast, then definitely type. Um, there's some other card effects, like we had one there where you got stuck to the floor, and that's just a magnet effect. So here we get we get our friend Edgar again. He's going to be the hardest one for us to deal with in this run because he's fire element, and most of our damage is done with fire. And of course, I notice. Oh crap! There's sand coming. That's gonna. It's gonna ruin our ability to clear out his mobs. And there's some dark priests out there who are gonna heal him back up, because the dark priests will do group healing. And then there's also some extra savages and Edgar's mobs. And then the, the dark priests show up. And or not the dark priests, the evil druids. And the evil druids multiply and they also eat your SP so you can see there's a really big horde of them so we do another run and just try again see if we can get a slightly better run of it and sometimes it takes a couple of, of retries where you just go in you check your card list and then you leave if you find a bad combination and so in this case Edgar's early so we think well maybe if he's early we can have a, a have better flexibility to, to take him down and there's also a dark priest with them which we can just focus down right away even though there is sandstorm we kept getting sand after Edgar and so it's kind of like maybe it's just always gonna happen and we just have to figure out how to deal with it and so we're like we're able to get good damage going on him, but once that sandstorm hits, we can't crowd control anymore. And so then his mobs just grow in number. And I also have to get distracted by re-equipping my gear. And because Taunt has a limit of six at a time, once there's a certain amount of mobs around me, I can't reliably taunt the boss. So crowd control is very important. If, I, if there's just too many mobs around, then I can't. So here, I also got stuck in the boss and all the mobs that the meteors came down. Wasn't able to dodge. Fortunately, we had Death Blow still on, so... But then Evil Druids came and a wave of them, so... In this example, though, this was the another one where we did it and it was like oh there's no sandstorm after Edgar so we might be able to so just making out another call that meteors are coming and I'm looking at the priest and I'm like oh no <laughs> but he he managed to move but the other two got hit by the by the meteors of course I was thinking that the, the priest was gonna get hit And one of the things that I can do as a tank against these healers, like I saw the Abune, so I basically ran up to them and just started using taunt. You know, taunt, heal, taunt, heal. And that way, if they try to use any spells or their heal, because I noticed that the heal mobs in here, they all have to cast their heal. And so it takes them about two seconds or so to cast their heal and so in that time I can run in and I can taunt them and that prevents them from healing people. So here we can see there's no cards after Edgar that are Sandstorm. So there, there's meteors but meteors don't kill our cast speed so I still have to re-equip my stuff. Get Unfortunately get hit by the the meteors because auto guard prevents me so even if I have endure on auto guard prevents me from moving around but we managed to, to take him down because we didn't get the sandstorm and that sandstorm was just wrecking our DPS so 
and pretty much it's smooth sailings after this because Edgar was the pro was the biggest challenge that we had in this particular run with this party composition. Um, that on of course killed the warlock again with damage reflect. Um, I know in normal oracle the the nightmare mob card has just natural reflect I think so a lot of people tend to die when when uh, that guy shows up but the Vadons in here they have to cast their reflect skill so if they don't get the chance to cast it then they don't reflect any damage and because yeah, so far there's because the other the third boss in this because we have Drake and then the third one is Goblin Leader so Drake is pretty straightforward I I don't even really know what his fancy, what his special oracle ability is, if he has one. Maybe I'll notice it if I watch, but this is armor breaking, so maybe maybe his thing is that he can break armor, which I haven't had happen to me yet, so. Let's see where we get to here. More meteors, more goblins. Oh yeah, and one of the useful things that you can do as a crusader class is use devotion. Generally, you want to devote the healer. Um, I haven't been able to he devote the healer very much because he's been running around a lot that's kind of okay but generally if you're looking to maintain a tight formation you want the healer to know where the devotion ranges so that they don't run out of it and break it and that they also keep an eye on the devotion themselves because it keeps them alive and yeah yeah that's just generally a good idea um, especially if aggro breaks or there's AoEs that are going off, then you need a reliable way of keeping someone alive. And the healer is the, or the priest of the person who has resurrection, so that'll keep everybody. It's, that's your insurance. So here, Goblin Leader, his special kind of ability, aside from spawning a lot of mobs, is that he throws grenades a lot. Or does that bomb throw. Just like constantly, but because it's a kind of a cast time I can just keep taunting him so long as the the mobs keep getting cleared I can just keep taunting him and then he doesn't get his grenades off so that's the last wave right here some evil druids some rotary zyros and again I'm just barely at the edge of the glacier and there you go